Many, many, many years ago, if someone wanted to make me feel insulted, they had to use only one word. Sure. And that would have been your ignorance. You do not know what you're talking about. You are ignorant. And that would have hurt a lot. However, now, I think when someone calls me ignorant, I call it a compliment. And you're like, did you lose your mind? What are you talking about? Why would you be happy about someone calling you ignorant? I'll tell you why. Because I learned after so many, many years that the more I think I know, the more I prove that I have no clue. So when I claim myself ignorant, I open up a new path. I open up myself to new possibilities. Because when I say I do not know, I am breaking a pattern, a pattern that otherwise would have made me believe that I know where I'm going. Yeah. And I have here my friend, Claudio Maria Dominguez, who is one of the best examples of that. I think he's one of the wisest people that I've ever met in my life. And not because of the knowledge, not because he knows from here, but because his life is a testimonial of this what I'm talking about. So I want to hear from you, Claudio. What do you think about this me feeling when someone calls me ignorant? I'm uh, like, oh, I feel so good. Thank you so much for that. What's your take on that? Let's take them into a beautiful path about that. I'm from Argentina. That's why my English is a bit poor, but I can make myself understood. No, it's not poor. <laughs> it's great. No, I, I, I just told Cecilia and Mariano, her husband, who's filming us, if I lived here for year for year, I would catch up the, the pronunciation. You're doing great. So, but you can understand me at least. Uh, what she calls ignorance is, is lovely because it's the self expressing that all the knowledges we have included in our mind and we have been programmed to have since we were born mm -hmm. and are filling our ideas of life are the dogmas, the mind creations, the mind thoughts that don't allow us to be happy because we have to be living up to that ego. That would be the ego, the system of beliefs, what you believe, what's your religion, what's your political ideas, what's your ethnic, what's your race, what's your sexuality. The upbringing was rotten. It says that we've been all abused from childbirth psychologically. Wow. Psychologically, 100%. 5% have been abused physically. Why? Because you have never been told the truth. And what would the truth be? That you're a beautiful human being, that you're a divine being living in a human body for a while, that you're love incarnated, that you're a beauty, that you were born to be free, but that born to be free, the jumping <laughs> job. You were born to be yourself. You were born to fly. You were born to shine. You were born to discover the matrix, to unplug it. Matrix plugged, unplugged it and to know really that everything you have been told is no longer needed by you. That could have been the ignorance from which you are escaping and now you're getting into the path of self-knowledge. And that's the beauty of it. That's the greatness of it. I was an ignorant. I only know that I know nothing. nothing. All the Greeks, the ancient sages and saints, all I know is nothing. I'm going to empty the bottle. If I empty the bottle of all the information that's been rounding my life, I can get new, I can become new, I can become vital, I can, I can become spontaneous. But not from spontaneous combustion, from spontaneous illumination, which is first day on. The rest of my life starts now. What do you think about that? Nothing. What do you know about that? Nothing. Society will think you're an idiot, stupid guy, knowing nothing. I want it to be something. I'm something when I become nothing. The void of my old mind, of my previous ideas, 
now leaves this beautiful, empty space to be filled by the truth, by greatness, by the pleasure of knowing that existence is just this instant. Instant. This is existence. This is me. This is the moment. And now I'm immortal. I'm eternal. The body is not. The body has its limits. Wonderful limits, though. I have to use it. The short while I'm here on the planet to know who I am. And so that the consciousness may remain conscious of itself when the body is no longer needed. I don't know if I could make myself... That's understand. amazing. And that's yeah. exactly what I'm calling ignorance. You're always opening up yourself to understanding life through your existence, not through your mind. So if there were any questions about my initial point, his wisdom has already shed light on it. Exaggerated girl. Mm. Ex lovely girl, though. Beautiful. Inside and outside. And the husband allows me to say so. He's not jealous. But exaggerated. I'm just repeating what the great sages and saints of all time, the real ones, the ones that are ecumenical, respectful of all religions. God is one. And you are God in a way. I say, no, God is God. No, all the gods that you're looking for are looking for you from ever. They've been looking for you. And you have to figure out how to realize them. How to be your own God. And of course, you have the influence of those lovely beings, Jesus, Buddha, Rama, Krishna, Muhammad, Allah. Those beautiful beings that have enlightened the previous path for you to know who you are right now. And don't quote them, just be them. Don't tell them by heart, just live it, practice it. Do you think that some people rather not know because they think that there is less suffering involved not with not knowing? Ignorance is bliss. What we have said, ignorance mm -hmm. is bliss. Also a sentence that Cecilia's son, Raphael, says all the time, Mama, ignorance is bliss. I know, I know, but you're playing the game. Know the game. Play, don't, don't let the game play you. Ignorance is bliss, meaning whenever you don't know anything, or, or, it's all right. Your life runs wandering around. This is it. This is a chibi. The, the news, the coronavirus is death. This is it. No, there is so much more than that. That's a 2 or 3% of the use of the brain. Where is the 90% that you are not using? Yeah, I always say that um, when you know, you cannot not Deny know. That, exactly. It's like you know, riding a bike, right? Once you learned you how ride to it. ride a bike, you, you can't say, oh, I don't know. I, I can't now forget how to ride a bike. No, 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 no once no. you know, you know. Bravo. So that's the beauty of it, the right? The remembrance of the being. Once you know who you are, you may play the game of forgetting it. But you actually don't forget. You know who you are. So you just have to go back to your truth and remember the self. And that's it. Once you know, you know. Once you remember, you remember. That's why also the, the great spiritual teachers say, don't try to learn. Just try to remember. You know everything. Just get inside. Get within you. Grab it from within you. And pull it aside and practice with the world. Go from the being to the world. Not from the world to the being. Because the world will blind you. The, the being will enlighten you. So ignorance is bliss, which is fun. You are just losing your ignorance now. You are losing the bad idea that you were what you were told you were. And you are what you are.